Okay guys, on my way to Orlando for the WLSFA convention. I hope I said that correctly. See you guys soon. Bye. Hi, this is the new Jackie 33 and I've been away for months and then you get two videos in a row go figure but I had a lot to say about the update and just as much to say about W L S F A I have a hard time putting those five letters together I don't know why but anyway that conference was amazing ever since I had the surgery I wanted to go to that conference but it was always on the West Coast so I never got there but finally it was on my coast so I had to go and it was well worth it. It started off a little bit disappointing because my roommate had to cancel, you know, stuff happens. I totally understand it, but I did miss her, mm. but she had to stay home with her babies. I understand. I got to Orlando on Thursday and I walked into the hotel. I looked for members, which I was hoping to see more YouTube people, but I didn't see anybody. So I went to my room and unpacked and decided I needed to get something to eat. So they had three, the hotel had three restaurants. So I went to each one of the restaurants to see which one that I can get the smallest amount of food in. Because you know, I always buy something and save it for lunch. But it was now lunch. <laughs> so I went looking and on the third restaurant, I see a member, a YouTube person. And my very first person was Nirvana. And I said, okay. I'm gonna go say hello. This is you got time to meet people. Pick up your big girl panties. Go say hello. So I walk up to her and I say hello. My name is the new Jackie 33, and I've been following you on YouTube. And she looks at me and goes, "Yeah, I've been following you too." I went, "B, I only have 500 members. She has thousands." You know. So I was totally surprised that she knew who I was, but she was such a joy. And I know this is gonna sound horrible, and I forgive me before I say it, but Nirvana is way more prettier in real life. She is so pretty, and her wife is so freaking cute, and they both are so tall. That's the thing that gets you, you this. It was, oh my God, they're tall. <laughs> but it was such a great thing to meet them, and the furry first member. Um, she told me that the members were down, putting the swag bags together in um, one of the rooms, so, I had lunch and then I decided that I didn't want to stay in the room by myself. It's time to go meet people. So I went down to the swag um, where they were putting the swag bags together. Even though I didn't volunteer, put my name down to volunteer, I said, I'm going to do this anyway. I need to be with, with weight loss people. So we went there. I met lots of people of which names I don't remember. I apologize. The only one I really do remember is Melissa. And I have to thank her in advance because she went out her way to make me feel welcome. So thank you very much. But I had we had a good time putting the swag bags together and those swag bags were full. Um, this is the bag here that's full, filled up. The picture will follow. It was, it was in it. Um, it was amazing. Um, most time when you get swag bags, you get four or five things. That bag was halfway filled. So it was great. Um, so we had a good time. We got the bag together and then we left. Uh, the next item was to go to a, uh, a meetup at the pool. There was two, one for LGBT and then one after that. So I got there and I didn't see anybody that I knew or recognized. And I was just had a drink. I had a, a, a some kind of cooler and I was just sitting there drinking it and then Sheila P pointy P I just put Sheila P walked up to me and said are you with W L S F A and I went yes and she said are those people at the meetup also and I went I don't know she said well I'm gonna go find out and she promptly walked over there and found out and it was them I was sitting in front of them the whole time and didn't even know so I got up we sat together we had a, about an hour and we talked for a little while I met some people got my little um my little um rainbow pin to put on 
and it was great. Um, I had a good time. Then we went back to my room. It was an early night. It, we, I did go back to my room early. Got up bright and early on Friday to register. I got my name tag, my um, raffle tickets, of which I did not win anything. Hmm? I got my volunteer shirt and my itinerary. And now I was on my way up to talk to vendors and get my samples. It was embarrassing how many samples I got in the three days. I was like a freaking hoarder. I mean, you would think I never got supplies in my life ever again. I would never get it ever again in life. It was just obscene. <laughs> the picture is about here. I enjoyed getting them, you know. I got some really good stuff. Um, the calcium in particular was, a, um, I'll talk about that in the very, very end. That, is, that was a lifesaver. Um, I'm, I'm going to send some to my mom. And to my ladies, my two daughters, um, the women, and they're almost middle, one's gonna be middle aged next week in another month. Another one's almost getting close to middle age, so they get old. But I'm gonna send some to them, um, and to a few members who could not be there. And I also brought some to my my bariatric support meeting on Tuesday when it got back, and they were happy to get some of the, the items. So I am sharing the wealth. I'm just not keeping it off myself. So I guess I am not a hoarder. <laughs> After about an hour of that, I, there was a seminar for newbies. I, with Laura and I went to that I met some other people um, uh, Jody Sarah um, Carl um, I'm not gonna name any more names because I'm gonna be in trouble um, if I keep naming names um, and then it was time to volunteer at the regist registration desk I thought I was gonna register from 11 to 1 but it turned out really with 11 to 12 and there I met the Jackies we were the three Jackies <laughs> <laughs> and one Jackie in particular was really special and you know who you are. Anyway, while I'm um, walking into one of the seminars, I looked up and caught my breath and I went, oh my God. Let me show you a short video. And there are three women in particular that amaze me. Um, Positive Girl Gets Fit. Wow. Um, three years she's kept it off. And she works so hard at it. I mean, she literally kicks butt. She's amazing. And then I, I love um, to watch um, My Precious Life. But she touches you differently. She touches your heart. So you watch her love of her family and her goodness. And then there's Tamika Ellis. And just watch her going through realistically day after day, just plugging away at it. Just, they're amazing. And I'm wondering. Yes, I'm going to finally meet one of the ladies that inspired me. She inspired me to lose weight. She inspired me to stay on target. And she inspired me to be on YouTube. I remember watching her at 250 saying, one day when I hit Wonderland, I'm going to dance like Takesha. And I did. And when I hit goal, I'm going to dance like Positive Girl Gets Fit. And I did. No more dancing for me. But now I want to wait for eight years to stay in maintenance like the Keisha. I'm fighting it right now, but I'm going to keep on trying because she's a special lady. Um, no more dancing once again, but I want to stay in maintenance. And just a side note, I've been blessed to meet all three of those ladies. I, have, I, I won't show you pictures, but I've met all three and I've been blessed. Back to the conference get back I, I, I deviated I was so happy to meet my Shiro but Lord she's short and her personality is just so big um, she was one of the highlights of my my week my weekend after lunch I went to another conference I met another special lady her name was Dana Rasa um, she had a conference about telling family members how to lose weight and I have I had a couple of conversations with her and she gave me some heart to heart advice, which I gonna try or may not take. <laughs> but she let me know that um, her door is always open for me and her books her book here's a book. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give her heartfelt 
conversation some serious thought. Um, we'll see. Anyway, after that, it went to um, a seminar with Nicole and Nirvana about um, getting your um, YouTube and social media journey started, which is ironic because my, so, my um, YouTube journey is just about over. Um, or winding down, not necessarily over, but winding down. But I wanted to go support Nirvana, so that's why I went. After that, I went to pro, a pro care um, event, a pro care bin, bingo, and I actually won. I was going to actually buy this, but I won um, their chocolate um, calcium. And let me tell you, this chocolate is freaking delicious. Um, I actually opened it up so I could show you guys. And I had some already. It tastes like Dove candy bars. It is so good. And I'm not, I was not taking my calcium, which I'll talk about in the end. This is not supposed to take every day. It's just on occasion. But it is freaking delicious. And you can't say that about most vitamins and almost oh, most calciums. At four in the afternoon, the last seminar what was my Shiro's exercise class. So I went there for 45 minutes. Um, I tried to hang in there. It's amazing how much she could move and how much I can. <laughs> Even though I'm a line dancer, I can't move like that. It's just, wow. But I tried to hang in there, and I was so happy to be there. And I just wanted to be in her vicinity, anywhere she was. I was fine with her. dressed for the flamingo cocktail hour um we had um we had some shrimp ceviche 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 shrimp and lemon <laughs> and some chicken on skewers chicken on a stick and sugar-free um frozen drinks it was very good from there we went to the program the flamingo program um, we saw the American Idol's, um, Ryan's for the flamingo co um, costumes and that was it was nice to get there it was really nice to hang out for a little while after that it was um, time to get in my exercise clothes go down to the lazy river time for the flamingo really at the lazy river watching the members try not to drown each other and it was fun <laughs> After that, I went back to my room. It once again another early night. At least that's what I told the man. But it was <laughs> that Saturday morning. I had to get up early because it was time for the stamp out of BC 5K. Okay, guys, 5K. Beautiful scenery. I'm about a, maybe three quarters of a mile in. By the Orlando Coliseum. Ooh. I'm sorry, Orlando Convention Hall. Can't talk too much because I'm trying to move. I'll give you a little more scenery. Okay, guys. I made the 3.1 miles. And at two and a half miles, it started to get to me. And I did what I always do. I danced right through it. I promise to you. Bye. As you can see, it, it was great scenery. I won't pretend I'm a pro at this. Um, I did have to struggle through it. I just said, let me just buckle down and just start walking. 
about two and a half miles in, I said, am I going to make it back to the hotel? And then I said to myself, you have to. How are you going to get back to the room? Just get yourself together and start walking. And I do what I always do. Even when I exercise at the gym, I put on my best songs and I dance right through it. I snap my fingers, get my extra step on and got through it. And it, that's the only thing that pushes me through when, when times get bad. I dance right through everything. It's just amazing. But I got it done. And here is my, my um, medal to prove it. I did it the American Idol um, seminar because I was walking but I got back in time to see Dr. Proctor from Family by the Tons TV show he told about his life and it was really interesting and quite humorous um, <laughs> but really interesting uh, after the after his seminar we, I was talking to him and we were mentioned he was talking about being um, an addict uh, ex, a food addict and I I had enough to tell him I'm not a food addict um, I just like to eat and it's a wonder the man didn't stop and laugh at me. And I'll talk about that later. The other seminars I went to were um, the doctor's panels with, um, I gotta look at the notes here real quick. Um, let's see, Dr. Proctor, Dr. Jesse, Dr. Gideon, Dr. Tamman, and Dr. Stapleton. Um, and they were talking about addiction. Um, it was interesting. I also went to see another seminar with Laura Preston about, um, and, um, Connie Stapleton about um, the weight loss journey again. And then also I saw one with Dr. Tommen about her book, um, The Food Junkies, which I actually read. <laughs> Believe it or not, I read her book. I'm not going to do it because you have to be sugar free and no artificial um, sweeteners. I'm not quite there yet, but it was great to watch her and her passion for it. I went to another seminar again. We just go from seminar to seminar. We went to another seminar by Betsy McCluskey about unleashing your vision. And that was also interesting. And the very last one was um, a spotlight on Christina Phillips and Justin McSwain from uh, My 600 Pound Life. They told a little bit of their journey, um, where they are now. They looked great. Um, Christina looks like about 150 to 60 pounds. Um, Justin Ms. Miss Swain was under 200. They both were in relatively good shape. I was in totally impressed. Um, they lost one, I would say one fourth of their body. It was just amazing. Um, I asked a question. I didn't realize at the time I might be on TV. I had to sign some forms and things, but um, their story was truly inspiring and a cautionary tale that any one of us in that room could be there. You know, that's why we, I watch the show sometimes. It breaks my heart, but that could have been me if I didn't do what I did. After that, that was the end of the afternoon. Time to go take a shower and get ready for sparkle and shine. So I went and I got my purple vintage dress on. I was feeling great. The food was good. Um, and they gave out um, awards to the different um, vendors. They gave out, um, they talked about the new surgery reciprocal recipients. They showed some of the old ones. They have two wedding proposals. It was really nice. And now it's time for the bling contest. Now, I wasn't going on stage because I know who was going to win and it wasn't going to be me. So I was going to sit myself down and not get up. But I was asked by a bunch of the ladies on the board to get up. So I said, okay, I'll give it a shot. So I got up, but I was happy to stand next to Nirvana in her twirly, twirly dress and Erica in her ombre sequin dress. So I was happy to be there and did my little two-step on the stage. And when I got off, I got a pin. Speaking of getting pins, I want to tell you one thing. One thing about this um, conference, the, um, the board made sure that they were super, super generous. Whatever you did something, you got an award. You got medals, you got awards, you got t-shirts. They were super generous. I have to thank them. I have tons of memories and tons of things to remember me, the, the conference by. Okay, after that, I went back to my room. Another early night. <laughs> and the thing is, I didn't do any drinking because I was by myself. And um, I guess even though I live in Delaware, the New Yorker in me says, you got to stay safe. You know, no, no stranger danger. 
So no liquor for me. I and I don't drink soda, so mostly it was Crystal Light and whatever the, the, um, they had there. But it was still gr a great time. I had you don't need liquor to have a good time. So now it's Sunday. I checked my my luggage out, and there was time for the quiche breakfast. It was very good. Good food. Good conversation. Um, enough of everything. Even it, more than what I could eat my little baby belly. So it was really great. Then it was time for Connie Wilson. I have to say, she was one of the highlights. Um, her story and struggles were inspiring and truly amazing. You tend not to think she's a regular person like us, you know, but she is, and she told her story, and her story was way worse than my story. She spoke from the heart. She didn't mind sharing, and it was great. After that, um, the last seminar was about addiction. And remember me telling you I told Dr. Proctor I was not addicted? I could not believe the man didn't laugh in my face because after I sat there, I said, you are an idiot. Anybody in this room, we're all addicted to food. We wouldn't be here, you know. Um, I, 12 step. My name is Jackie. I'm addicted Many to food. Many levels to addiction. And I see food all the time in my head. I think about food all the time in my head. I'm always going from one, from one meal to the next meal. Um, I'm always thinking about what I should not eat and what I could not eat and what I might eat and what I did not eat and what I should not eat. It's constant food, um, food conversation in my head. That's an addiction. Now the conference was officially over and it was time to meet Esther. Esther VS Street Trek. What can I say about her? But she is freaking amazing. She got there a little late because she got stuck in traffic. Um, so we only had an hour and a half together. So we couldn't go to an actual restaurant like I wanted to do. But we sat there and talked like we knew each other forever. And really, we have known each other for years. But it was YouTube years, which is not the same thing. But I so enjoyed. We went from conversation to conversation that I forgot about social media. Really, maybe I didn't want to share you guys with her. I don't know. But I had a 2.20 appointment to get to the van to catch to get to the airport. And it was 2.20. <laughs> and she goes, we didn't take pictures. And I went, damn. So we took quick pictures real quick. And I saw the van. I said, I got, get my luggage real, I got my luggage real quick. And I ran into the, in the van to get to the airport. My heart. That was... If I had to say what my favorite thing is, that was my favorite thing. That was my favorite part of the whole weekend. Thank you, Esther. One day, we got to get together and spend more than an hour and a half together. Total joy. Total joy. Got to the airport on time. Got to my terminal. They canceled my flight. So now I'm on a line, a long ass line tell me that and on the phone and they're telling me that my next flight my flight has been rescheduled to 5 30 the next day <laughs> so i am on the line i get to the front of the line after an hour and a half and they tell me yeah you have a 5 30 flight now thank you i don't want that so I said, okay we'll make it 2 30 but there's a standby at 2 30 tomorrow but there's a standby at 7 42 at tonight if you go to standby fine if not you got to 2 30. i get there i didn't get on the plane so I got a hotel room. They paid for my hotel and taxi. I spent another night in Orlando and um, got up at, for the 9.30. And then they changed my flight to 9.30, by the way. At that point, when I didn't get that flight, I got a 9.30 flight the next morning. Got to the 9.30 flight. Everything was flying, uneventful. So my man at 1.30, I was a happy lady. And um, now it's time to talk about next year. Next year's conference is in Las Vegas. And you know the first thing that came to my mind? Viva Las Vegas with Michelle. You know, that's her favorite place. And the only thing with this is if I go to Vegas, I have to go with the man. Um, and so, and it's gonna be for a week. We have timeshare, so it's not a problem. The problem is getting them to go to WLSFA. That's gonna be the problem. Not, not, not the, us going, but we getting him to go. But if I can get him to go, I'll be singing Viva Las Vegas with Michelle. Yes, I will. We'll be there. I learned from the conference. Um, I learned I'm an addict. That's the main thing. 
I learned that I wasn't eating my um, calcium. I wasn't eating my calcium at all. My calcium pills at all. So yes, this um, conference was everything I imagined and more. What's better than also that is I get to share all the samples with my family, other weight loss members, and my bariatric support team. So I want to thank the WLSFA board for a wonderful conference and all the effort, everything you put in for it, and all the volunteers, including me. Thank you very much, and I hope I can make it to Vegas. Viva Las Vegas. Bye.